Hello dear student and all viewers welcome to my channel English Literature and Linguistics a channel for literature lovers The current video is about novel In this video I will present some definition of novel types of novel and elements of novel So let's be to our topic stay with me please So what is novel in literature The online Britannica site defines the novel in these words A novel is an invented prose narrative of significant length and complexity that deals imaginatively with human experience usually through a connected sequence of events involving a group of persons in a specific setting its roots can be traced back thousands of years though its origin in english are traditionally placed in the 18th century the other definition of novel here i am presenting is from a glossary of literary terms by mh abrams According to this definition the term novel is now applied to a great variety of writings that have in common only the attribute of being extended works of fiction written in prose the third definition is presented by E.M. Forster in his famous book Aspect of the Novel according to this definition a novel is a piece of prose fiction of reasonable length uh, what is novel in the views of authors and scholars let's narrate some quote about novel the first quote is by gk chesterton from his book heretics an essay on smart novelist and the smart set regarding to this quote a good novel tells us the truth about its hero but a bad novel tells us the truth about its author the second quote is from d h lorenz from his is a why the novel matters the novel is the one bright book of life books are not life they are only tribulation on the ether but the novel as a tribulation can make the whole man allow tremble the third quote is by jane aston according to this quote It is only a novel in which the greatest powers of mind are displayed in which the most thorough knowledge of human nature the happiest delineation of its varieties the liveliest effusion of wit and humor are conveyed to the world in the best chosen language The fourth quote is from Albert Camus in his essay Lyrical and Critical Essays A novel is never anything but a philosophy expressed in images and in a good novel the philosophy has disappeared in the images Elements of novel The elements of novel are almost the same as the the elements of drama though slight differences may exist since i have discussed all these elements in the videos about the element of drama for your convenience i will put their links in the in the description box of this video you can visit and study them there types of novel the novel has a wide range of genres such as 
historical novel, picaresque novel, gothic novel, psychological novel, psychological novel, epistolary novel, satirical novel, proletarian novel, pastoral novel. But these are not the only genres. There exist more. For example, sentimental novel, novel of manners, Roman Oclef, anti novel, cult novel, detective novel, western novel, fantasy, etc. I will discuss only the major types here. So let's be to our topic. Number one, historical novel. What is a historical novel? A novel which reconstructs history and recreates it imaginatively. Both historical and fictional characters may appear in this novel. Though writing fiction, the good historical novelist researches his or her chosen period thoroughly and strives for verisimilitude. The example of such novels are Castle Written by Maria Edgeworth, The Scottish Chief by Jane Falter, Waverly by Sir Walter Scott. The second is Picaresque novel. The term Picaresque comes from the Spanish word Picar, means rogue or scoundrel. Originated in 16th century, a Picaresque novel relates the adventures of a Picon or disreputable protagonist. The examples are Kim by Rudyard Kipling's The History of Tom Jones by Henry Fielding. Number three, Gothic novel. What is a Gothic novel? A work of fiction is Gothic only when its literary devices encourage us to entertain possible alternatives to conventional everyday reality, whatever that may be. Gothic novel mostly includes terror, mystery, horror, thriller, supernatural doom, death, decay, all haunted buildings with ghosts and so on. Examples are Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, The Vampire by John William Polidori, Dracula by Bram Stoker, The Castle of Otranto by Horace Walpole. The fourth type is psychological novel, also known as stream of consciousness novel. Psychological novel treats the internal conflict of characters. The term stream of consciousness was first used by William James in his book Principle of Psychology to describe the flow of thought of the waking mind. The examples of such novels are To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf, Ulysses by James Joyce, The Rainbow and Sons and Lovers by D. H. Lawrence. The fifth type is Epistolary Novel. What are these type of novel? The term epistolary is from Latin epistula, where it means a letter. That is, the narrative is conveyed entirely by an exchange of letters. Examples, Pamela and Clericia by Samuel Richardson, Recola by Bram Stoker, The Color Pulper, The Color Purple by Elias Walker, Diary by Bridget Jones. 
Number six, satirical novel. Satire is loosely defined as the art that ridicules a specific topic in order to provoke readers into changing their opinions of it by, attack by attacking what they see as human folly. Satirists usually imply their own opinions on how the thing being attacked can be improved. Examples are Animal Farm by George Orwell, Gulliver's Travel by Jonathan Swift, Catch-22 by Joseph Heller, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. The seventh type is Proletarian novel. What is this type of novel? A Marxist version of the social novel representing the hardship suffered by the oppressed working class and usually written to incite the reader to radical political action is called the proletarian novel. The example of such novels are Love on the Doll by Walter Greenwood, To Make Me Bread, To Make My Bread by Grace Lonkin, Love and Lie Down by Robert Cantwell. The last type of novel which I am discussing here is Western novel. Western novel mostly defect rural scenes and peasant characters. Themes of the novels include notably love and death. The example of these novels is of the Derber Valley by Thomas Hardy, The Hundred Marsh by George Sand. Francis the Web by George Sand. Dear student and all viewers, see you in the next video, inshallah. Thank you for watching and stay blessed.